Hello, I'm here again with another unbagging. I cannot help myself when it comes to these doodle bug things. I've never seen them um, so accessible in Australia before, so I am a little bit excited and have to get them. So this one is obviously not part of the grab bag, but I did think that I would show this one. This is one of their booze and brews um, paper packs. It was on sale. I couldn't help myself. It's adorable. Anything to do with Halloween I want <laughs> and need. So with doodle bug papers, they are really expensive over here, to be honest. Um, most sheets of paper, um, they do come in packs, but I find that most sheets of paper cost anywhere between $2 and $2.50 per individual sheet, which is just a little bit out of my budget. But with this pack, it comes with 40 sheets and they work out to be about 75 cents each. So that is not bad at all. So I haven't opened it yet at all. So I'm really excited. Here we go. If you watch my last video, you'd see that I struggled for like two minutes to undo the knot. And I don't think I even needed to undo the knot on this one. It was just there for decoration, I think. Okay, there we go. So let's have a look at what we've got. Isn't that adorable? I do love their papers. Like I said, they are expensive, but my gosh, they are gorgeous. And um, the quality of them is amazing. The prints are always perfect. Look at that. That is very, very cute. Okay, I might just flip through them really quick so we can have a look-see. I do love their Christmas papers. Oh, that rainbow is adorable. Oh, it's got candles on the back. Very cute. Okay. <gasps> Pumpkins. That is perfect. I do love, um, I guess how versatile all of these are. You can use that for a lot of things. Maybe not so much Christmas ones, but all the other ones. That's very cute. Looks like, I don't know, like a baby one. Oh, they are baby ones. Very cute. They're so bright, aren't they? I love that. Very cute. Oh, I don't, yeah, you can see that one on camera. That one's like embossed. No colour to it, but very cute. Animals, that's adorable. Some of these single-sided, they're very cute. I'm not familiar with some of their really old designs, so it's kind of cute to see some of them that aren't really available anymore. That's nice, the wood grain one. I'm assuming that's kitty cats from the one of their cat collections. Very cute. Let's have a look. <laughs> the little whales, that's very cute. <laughs> Look at how cute they are. That is some intense paper. The flowers are adorable. I did um, assume that some of the sporty ones would be in there, and while I probably don't have much of a need for them, I have seen, yes, yeah, like the backs of them are stars, and that I can definitely use. Probably not so much outside, but the stars I'll definitely be using. Does this one have? Ooh, that's a bit different. Probably wouldn't use that one out of all these papers, but that I would use. And more stars, that's perfect. Very cute colours. Look at those little skulls. Aren't they ridiculously cute? Very cute. Nice and bright. I do love their colours, they're just so beautiful. That is really cute too. Adorable. Some flowers. Oh my gosh, did you see that one? That one is just perfect for me and everything that I like to do. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, that's adorable. I have the smaller version of this that I've used in um, some of the baubles that I make at Christmas time. Adorable. These are just so cute. I think this was well worth it. I can use these for so many different backgrounds in all of my cards. So if you want to see the kinds of things I make, you can go to my blog, which is World of Papercraft. World as in like the twirling kind of world. <laughs> W H I R L C D. Oh god, I hope I spelled that right. But yeah, <laughs> very very cute. <gasps> look at the little potion. Oh no, look at that one. That is very cute. Very cute little potions. That is adorable. Oh, that is very cute. I oh, see. I would have trouble deciding what side to use of that one. <gasps> look at the typewriters. Aren't they cute? Very very cute. And that's the last one. Is it? Are you the last one? Yeah. Perfect. They were really, really cute. So although they're random and you can't choose what's in them, I think that is a pretty good variety of different papers to work with in there. So if you want to see what kinds of things I make out of them, check out my blog. I'm sure I will start using these very, very soon. Okay, that's all from me today. Bye.